Hey guys, Josh at Bane Tech, and I've got the Droid Turbo in hand. This is a first impressions video. I'm actually turning around to sell this, so I don't really have too much time with it for like a full review, but I wanted to give like a first impressions video. With that said, this is actually a really good phone. I'm really surprised about the kind of quality that it has to it. I know for a long time before this was even released, it was actually rumored to be like the Verizon Nexus version or something like that. So that was like a kind of interesting fact. And I could really see why that was. It's got some amazing specs. I'm not going to get into all those. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want those kind of specs. But this video is just my first impressions of how I feel about it when I first got the device. Motorola has done a fantastic job of keeping their version of Android close to stock. All they have are some complimentary kind of apps that add to the experience to their devices. The screen is actually really nice. I think it's a nice size. It's got some good one-handed use kind of size to it, but it also looks great as well. With the short time that I've had it, it's actually been really smooth. It's functioned really well. No kind of hiccups at all. So it really flies through stuff. That's pretty impressive to me. And again, I really like the stock Android look to it. It looks really fantastic to me. I opened up the camera just to kind of play around with it a little bit and I was actually quite impressed with the camera. And that's coming from the Nexus 6 or any of the Moto X devices. I would say that this one is better than those out of the experience that I had with them. And even the front facing camera is even better than what I had with the Nexus 6. So that's really interesting to me that the Droid Turbo was that much better than the Moto X or the Nexus 6 in my opinion. There's a lot of cool modes that you can just kind of flip around with from the screen and the screen looks good so when you're taking the pictures the pictures look good i like it it's a decent camera i think i could actually get away with using this and if you know me i like cameras a lot on phones it's actually a deal breaker to me that's why i got rid of the nexus 6 in the first place because the camera was just horrible in hand the device feels really nice it's got a nice curve in the back feels really nice again it's like a one-handed use kind of phone it's got a big enough screen for the people that like bigger screens but it's not too big for the ones that like the smaller screen on the right hand side is the power button and a volume rocker and i find those interesting because they have the nice texture to it helps to kind of locate it but the really interesting part is that the sim card is hidden underneath the volume rocker and i thought that was an interesting design concept with that being an interesting design concept, I kind of see the point of it because it minimizes the amount of ports or buttons that's on the device. So it's actually pretty cool. I, I like that idea. Overall, I actually think I could get away with using this phone for a while. And that's saying a lot because I'm actually using the Galaxy S6 at the moment. And that's a fantastic device. But the S6 has horrible battery life and the Droid Turbo is known to have really good battery life on top of having fast charging. There's a lot of nice features with the Droid Turbo. You got fast charging, you got really awesome battery life, you got a decent camera, good screen. The specs are really awesome. They really stand up to many of the other flagship devices. So this is definitely something I would say that you might want to look into, especially over at Swappa.com. This isn't sponsored by Swappa by any means, but you can get a Droid Turbo for a really good price right now over at Swappa.com. Well guys, that's been my quick little video about the Droid Turbo. If you have a Droid Turbo, if you're looking into getting one, what are some of the things that you like about it? Share those thoughts down in the comments. Thanks guys for watching, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so, so you can see more videos like this.